Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and I need to do an unboxing of the Wordsworth Planner. This is a sponsored video that they so kindly gifted me in exchange for a, an honest and fair review and unboxing of this. So it came in this really nice box, and it came from Amazon, and it there is a link below for it. And... It's beautiful. I have to say that the the outside, the, the leather, I don't know that it's leather, but it's very nice. It's very soft. They have different colors. You can get black, brown, a turquoise color that was really pretty, and then this is like a raspberry color that, um, this is the one that I chose because, you know, my favorite color is pink. So it says, if you do what you always did, you will always, you will get what you always got anonymous and then it says Woodsworth planner turning dreams into actions this is the non-dated planner monthly and weekly horizontal overview so let's just open it up it looks very nice in case of loss please return to and then it has as an award and then how to or reward how to use your Woodsworth planner and there's different ways to use it and benefits for your of your Wordsworth planner. The calendar goes from 2017 to 2020. Travel planning, date, destination, itinerary, and notes. Lots of places to go. And, ooh, the time zones. That's kind of neat. And then be stubborn about your goals and flexible about your methods goals overview. There's a goals mind map, a vision board, and then personal goals with the target date, goal, purpose, and action, and family, friends, and relationships, Oops. and then professional, and then it goes into the monthly view, Monthly goals, the personal, professional, friends, family relationships, and then there's a section for notes. And then it goes right into a monthly calendar, so it's undated for you to date. And then monthly reflection from that month, review of last month, my top five accomplishments, what I wanted to get but get done but didn't and why, what have I learned this month, and planning for next month. What would make next month great and how can I achieve this? And then there are... So it looks like the monthly goals are in the front, and then it has the monthly calendar, and then the review. So that is how it is for every month. Review of last month. Another month. And then it looks like there's a section for weekly overview. Don't call it a dream, call it a plan. This week's top focus, notes, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then there's a to-do list with a priority and a secondary. And this may just be what it is throughout the whole book, or the whole rest of the book. Well, there's some note sections. So you just, there's a new page for each week and a new calendar page for, or a new calendar entry for each day. And it has this week's top focus. I don't know, I may have already said that. And then I'm grateful for, for and reflection over here. And then it has a section of dotted paper and a section of plain paper. And then it has like a little folder here and stickers and then it has an elastic that you can use to close it and it has three different colors of tags or bookmarks I am grateful put your heart into it relationship goal personal goal professional goal love this affirmation reflection let's do this Big day, birthday, night out, shopping, workout, healthy eating, meditation, vacation, finance, and then just different shapes. 
deadline meeting reminder important make it happen noted today study and appointment so that's kind of neat I like the stickers I like you guys know I love stickers so it has a pin loop I like that it's like soft bound but it's not a paperback but it's like nice and giving um, my first impression of this is that I can see how it would be useful, especially for goals. I don't think that the days are going to be big enough for me to actually use. And, well, it would be if I didn't decorate. So this is a very functional planner. And maybe it's one that I would use at work more than at home. I'm not really sure yet. I think that I could use it at home. Like I said, if I didn't, if I wasn't such a decorator. Huh. I want to give it a try. This isn't, I like having the months separate from the weeks for work. I would like for there to be tabs for the month. That's something I think is missing, but I understand, you know, with an undated planner and all of that, they never know what month you're going to start on, and I kind of get it, and I can make my own. Um, honestly, if I'm looking at this right now, it makes me feel like it's a lot of work because I get, I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed with the goals, personal, professional, family, and then... But it is just monthly, and then the review of the month, and what can I do better? I think it's a great growth plan, and I think that we all probably need that, but um, it's difficult to be consistent with it, at least as far as I'm concerned. So I am going to give this a try. I'm going to try it for a week or so, and then I will let you guys know what I think of it. Like I said, I will probably just do it at work. Um, I don't go a lot of places, so this travel itinerary is not important to me, although it is nice. And, you know, you can always think of places that you'd like to go, and that's kind of neat. Um, I do like the time zone just because so many of you guys are in different time zones. Sometimes it's fun to see what time it is where you live, although with this map just being the outlines, it's not easy for me to tell, like, where this is, for example, or whatever. So I am not good at geography at all so that's kind of that's a little bit difficult for me um i guess it tells you a little bit down here where it is here's perth tokyo sydney hmm. so huh i didn't realize that australia was eight o'clock and or plus plus eight and plus ten so and actually plus eleven right here so even Australia is three hours apart that's interesting San Francisco Anchorage is if it's nine o'clock in Anchorage It is four hours difference between Anchorage and New York. So that's really interesting to me that this is a three hour difference. Hmm. That's just what I'm seeing right now. So again, I like the amount of note spots, spots that there are. Again, I think that could be good for work. I'm not exactly sure like with the bullet journaling you could do some of that back here maybe I don't think that I would I don't really like to mix my journals up um so I don't know I will check it out and think about it and try to use it and let you guys know what I think but I just wanted to give you a prelim I mean initially the thought of it and the way that it looks is fabulous they do offer different ones and maybe a different one would be more pleasing to my aesthetics and to what uh, how I use my planner but um, I don't know I'll give it a try and I think it is beautiful and I really do appreciate the fact that they gave it to me so thanks so much for watching guys and I hope you have a wonderful day bye bye